नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज संदीप सक्सेना एंड आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिंगल मॉड डिस्क If we're talking about single malt whisky, this is one of the most prestigious whisky available in the world. So, in this video, we have to be discuss about whisky, especially single malt whisky, the production method of whisky, the prestigious brands of single malt whisky, and the service method of single malt whisky so the objective of this particular video to enable to understand the making of single malt whisky production methods the brand of single malt whisky and the service procedure of single malt whisky the of end of this video you can understand basic concept of single malt whisky and each and everything which are important and which are very related to single malt whisky we can discuss in this video before we start in this video we discuss about whisky we discuss about the basic definition of whisky whisky is an alcoholic beverage which are produced from or any other cereals mixture of cereals so we can say whiskey can be produced any other means after the fermentation and after the whiskey is the crystal beverage which are produced from distillation process and see in the production of whiskey distillation this play a very important role while we are produce whiskey if we talking about whiskey there is a two type of distillation method first is pot distill distillation method the second is patent distill distillation method not talking about whiskey which are uh, alcoholic beverage not talking about before we starting the whiskey we a little discussion about the classification of beverage beverage is very important role in fmb service operation especially into the bar operation the fmb professional having a good knowledge about food as well as a basic knowledge or a thorough knowledge about the beverage so we can classify a beverage into the two category first is alcoholic beverages and second is non alcoholic beverages. the non alcoholic beverages is like stimulating beverages distilled beverages refreshing beverages or nourishing beverages so this all about non alcoholic it is our alcoholic beverages so if we talking about the alcoholic beverages alcoholic beverages are those beverages which are having a some alcoholic content so the alcoholic beverages are called the beverage having some alcohol content is called alcoholic beverage not talking about a uh, brief classification of alcoholic beverage it is consists with 
commented distilled and compound so the wine and the beer is the best example of fermented beverages if we talk about if we talking about the tequila if we talking about gin if we talk talking about vodka it's a kind of distilled alcoholic beverage it's also called spirits the whiskey is a uh, spirits also now the another is the cure bitters and acids now comes on whiskey we talk about whiskey whiskey is a main spirit which are produced from grain by is one of the most important ingredient for helping to produce whiskey whiskey is one of the most highly consumed beverage in entire world if we talking about the whiskey it is highly demand in the entire world we have whiskey is famous in france whiskey is famous in scotland whiskey is famous in ireland so we if we talking about the whiskey scot whiskey is one of the most prestigious name of whiskey if we talking about the irish whiskey again it is one of a more main important whiskey style so today video we discuss about the making of single malt whiskey which are consists with a lot of step helps to producing whiskey now talk about the making of single malt whiskey basic ingredients if we talking about the basic ingredients this should be about it is this is some species usually used by from east scotland optic chorit a golden promise are the most common variety used the chorit e golden promise are the basic type of barley variety and it is used for producing single malt whiskey so we can say barley is one of the most important ingredient for producing single malt whiskey the type of barley may have an influence on the whiskey produced why what is the reason for selecting barley for producing single malt whiskey the reason behind this for choosing the barley for producing single malt whiskey because the barley is a good source of starch and it is easily converted into the soluble sugar as well as barley is not much more used and it is a not a staple diet compared to other grain so single malt whiskey are produced from barley which are a basic ingredient for producing single malt whiskey 
if we talking about the another ingredients of producing single malt whiskey the basic ingredients are water if we talking about the water now you can say the images of water which are very near to the distillery what is distillery distillery is a plant which are distilled the distilled beverage so these are the distilleries having a own water fountain or you can see a storage of water which are used to giving a special feature to the single malt whiskey as per images you can see in my power pens like there is a plant of production of whiskey and near the plant there is a water source so this water source having a characteristics to give the uh, special flavor to the single malt whiskey so each distillery are uh, use their own water source water is present in most of the stages of whiskey making so we can say water which are a basic ingredient for producing single malt whiskey are a play a very vital role for producing a single malt whiskey not about the water we talk about the single malt whiskey we talk about the scotch the scotch whiskey as prepared as a scotch law the scotch law is say the only water of scotland having a special characteristic the single malt whiskey which are produced in the scotland so you can say barley is the basic ingredient for producing single malt whiskey and what is the reason to choose barley for producing single malt whiskey because barley having a good source of starch and it is easily converted into the soluble sugar now the water is another basic ingredient for producing single malt whiskey now the third step it's called malting for producing single malt whiskey in this step you can see in the images there is a barley is taken to the distilleries so after the harvesting of a particular barley it is collected from the harvesting area and directly to send to the distillery if it carries the malting process on site now you can see in the image there is a malting process the malting process is to start with collecting of the barley now when the barley is collect there should be a grading process what is the grading process the grading process It's a process where we can segregate the barley into the different category. The A type of barley it produced from single malt whiskey, having a special mark. Now the category is not up to the mark. It's called a B category, and it is helped to produce not. single malt whiskey but it can be used from these barley other whiskies now the barley is taken to the distilleries if it carries the malting process on site many distilleries buy already malted barley with some specific characteristics now this some distilleries are also purchasing malted barley from the market but the wine of whiskey law is not permitted to do doing this so if they're talking about a single malt whiskey there should be a barley is collected from the harvest area and directly sent to the distillery and then the malting process is to start now you can say the photograph is attached in the powerpoint selection 
it's a bar like containers and spring bank so it is a very clear image that how to the malting process start now the help of this image you can understand what is a malting process now after the malting in the malting process when we are the collected the barley from the harvesting area and collect the industry and the malting process will start after the malting process there should be a steeping the second part of malting what is the meaning of steeping steeping is meaning give some moisture to the barley one very interesting fact that the production of whiskey is very similar to production of beer the only difference of distillation we are talking about the beer production barley is again an important role for producing beer not talking about the malting process under steeping what is steeping in the steeping process the barley is steeped in water and drained several times for a period of so for 2 to 3 days we collect the barley and after that the steeping process is start the barley is steeped in water the water should not be must cold or not should be much cold it should be a normal water the barley is steeped in water and drained several times for a period of 2 to 3 days because of the steeping process barley contains 46 to 48% moisture and it ready to serve so a small recap about the making of single malt whiskey the first step is malting and the malting process consists with the collection of barley after the collection of barley the grading of barley and the after grading of barley all a category barley is collected at one place that's called a malting first process and the second process is the malting the steeping in this process the barley is steeped in water and drained several time for a period for 2 to 3 days the barley contains around a 46 to 48% of now I'm talking about the process of germination why germination process is so important for producing a single malt whiskey because it gives a some flavor now discuss about the germination process after malting after steeping there should be a another process that called a germination process which are comes under the category of production methods that's called malting the making of single malt whiskey the malting germination process is very important now you can see the images where the surface is fulfilled by the steeping barley the barley is then taken from the malting flues so there should be a malting flue so in the distilled area or you can say distillery having a malting flue the barley is then taken to the malting flue where it is allowed to germinate for about 6 days the making of single malt whiskey germination is a play a very vital role because it gives a color <coughs> to the final product through the germination process so we can say the barley is then taken to the big malting flue where it is allowed to germinate for about 6 days so 6 days we are giving to the process of germination so after 6 days we can say the steeping barley are little germinate now 
the barley is spread forming a layer of 10 to 15 centimeter deep depending on the time of the year this is this is all about a malting germination process in this the image of germination process you can see that the malting flows at the spring bank so each distillery having a malting flow which are used for germination of barley now, talking about the next process before starting the next process some interesting steps like during the germination process heat is generated so we can say if we are talking about the germination process some heat is generated the grains are turned and grub in order to keep their temperature between 15 and 20 degree centigrade now you can see in the picture there is a turning the barley at spring bank so during the germination process heat is generated the grains are turned and grub in The distillery that is carries the malting process on site. Many distilleries, but already malted barley with some specific characteristics related to smokings. After the malting process, there should be a steeping process. In this process, barley is stepped into the water for two to three days. After this step, barley can contain. 46 to 48% moisture and it's ready to germinate. The making of single malt whiskey, you can see that in malting process, germination, the barley is then taken to the malting floor where it is allowed to germinate for about six days. The barley is straight forming a layer of 10 to 15 centimeters deep depending on the time of the year. The making of single malt whiskey, malting, germination. During the germination process, heat is generated. The grains are turned and grub in order to keep their temperature between 15 degree and 20 degree centigrade. Talking about cleaning process, cleaning or you can say the heating process. In this process, we are giving so, heating to the our barley. After the barley has germinated for about six days, the process has to be stopped. So the germination after six days, the process of germination is stopped. The objective is to obtain the biggest amount of soluble starch which will be need later in the wort production. Now we can say germinated barley can be converted into the green malt or you can say the malt is converted into the green malt. So again a small, a small recap for producing a single malt whiskey the first step is malting. In the malting process we can collect the barley into the malting house or distilleries after collecting the barley going with the steeping process after the steeping process where the barley is containing 40 to 48 percent moisture is allowed to germinate for the six to eight days so what is the benefit of the steeping process that after the barley has germinated after six days process has to be stopped. This process is to increase the starch level of barley. The objective is to obtain the biggest amount of soluble starch which will be needed later in the wort production.
Now we can say our green malt, our malt is converted into the green malt. The photo is indicate germinated barley or a green malt to spring bank. Now talking about the malting, milling process. It's translating the barley into the clean at spring bank. Now the green malt which are germinated are going under through of cleaning process. In order to stop the germination process, the barley is transferred to an oval named clean. The clean has a mesh flow which allows the smoke to hot air. Generated glow to get in. So after the green malting process, to stop the germination, the barley is transferred to the oven. That's called a cleaning process. A clean has a mesh flow which allows to use the smoke or hot air. It is generated glow to get in. So this is all about cleaning process. In this process, it is Germinated barley is transferred the barley into the cleaning of the spring bank. Now you can see the images how to transfer the green malt into the transfer to an oven. Now hot air or peat. So the peat which are using for cleaning process are very important. According to the Scotch laws, hot air or peat fire may be used to dry the green malt. Peat are giving some characteristics, are giving some texture to the particulars in the malt. We see. So that after that. Germination process, the beginning process where the green malt are transferred to the oven, which are known as a clean, and the hot air or peat fire may be used to dry the green malt. So, now in this process, we have to dry our green malt because in the stripping process, it is contained with 40 to 48 percent of moisture. So each step having uh, each importance for production of whiskey. Now talking about the cleaning about process. In this process, the drying of the green malt has a very important influence on the whiskey taste in terms of smokiness. So in the process of cleaning process, which are using a oven, it gives a smoky flavor. So after the malting process, there is a steeping process, germination process, and after the germination process, there is the process of cleaning process. Now, peat is found. Now you can see the images. The images of Isle, it is a very important region of France which are produced single malt whiskey and from particular this region all the peat are coming for producing single malt whiskey. Now you can see the images. The photo is related with the peat near Bomo in Isle. Peat is found in wet marsh areas. It was the traditional fuel used in Scotland or Ireland. We can say a single malt whiskey cannot produce without the peat is found which are used in Scotland or Ireland. If the Scotch whiskey is produced, if the single malt Scotch whiskey is produced, a particular peat which are wet in form and found in marshy areas, it is used for traditionally used in Scotland or Ireland. The peat burns slowly and it produces a lot of smoke with a deep smell. The particular this peat is a 
burn a slowly and slowly and give a smoky flavor to the single malt whiskey now a process of malting cleaning at the beginning of the making process the temperature must not be high otherwise the malt could be steamed so the temperature must be according to the distillery and it should be used properly not talking about a uh, next process at the beginning of the next cleaning process the temperature must not be to be very high otherwise the malt could be stewed if we want to obtain a non smoky whiskey then we should just try the malt with hot air usually for about 26 hour if we want to produce a more or less smoky whiskey then we may dry the grain with a peat fire complemented by a period of hot air in this case the process may last from 36 to 40 hours sometimes wet peat is used in order to produce more smoke so this is all about single malt whiskey so now you can see the images in the powerpoint presentation the photos of peat in the spring bank so these type of peat type of pole which are using for giving the heat of green malted barley now the another process for the making of single malt whiskey the storing the malt now you can see the images which are related to the malted barley bins at the spring bank after the cleaning process the barley moisture ranges from 4 to 6% before the cleaning process the barley contain 40 to 48% of moisture but after giving the heat it's reduce and comes about the 4 to 6 percentage the malt is left to cool down and is kept in storage bins for at least one month the making of single malt whiskey the next process is milling so first process is consists with malting and the malting process is consists with storing the malt the cleaning process the germination process the steeping process and the collection of barley process so this is all about of malting process after the malting process there should be a milling process during the milling process the malt now the malt is green malt the green malt is convert into the roasted malt due to giving some heat so the malt is crushed to obtain husk about 20% grist about 70% and flour about 10% malted mild barley is called grist now you can see your malted barley is converted into the grist so what is grist it's called if the malted barley is mash or crushed into the crushing and pressing machine it's called grist so the story is start with malting now the story is about grist so we can convert malt into the grist from the following this step so the milling is the process to convert the barley with the help of pressing and pressing machine it's convert into the grist now the green malt is converted into the grist you can see the images of there is a mill machine it's a mechanical machine it is a me mechanical pressing of the barley now talking about mashing so after milling after cutting and pressing of green malt with the 
convert into the grist. Now a machine process is there. In the machine process, the grist is mixed with water. So the grist is mixed with hot water in order to extract the maximum amount of fermentable sugars. So now we are adding some hot water into the our grist. Why this process is done? So collecting a maximum amount of fermentable sugars. An important question is that the barley is a good source of starch and it is easily converted into the soluble sugar into the process for steeping. So now in the grist process we are adding some water in order to extract the maximum amount of fermentable sugar. You can see you can see the images of a meshing process and the power plant slides. So there is a mixing of hot water into the grist. The meshing process takes place on a big round stainless steel vessel called meshing tun. Now the mesh or the grist which are added with hot water transfer into the meshing tun. In most Distilleries. This is where the whiskey making process begins. Now we can say the main process of whiskey is begin. Now we can understand that the green barley is converted into the green malt. Green malt is converted into the grist. Now the grist is converted into the mash into the mashing process. So the most Distilleries doing the making process with the help of mashing tons. Now, the another step of mashing is to mash up the grist into the mashing tons. Now, you can see the images of there is the image of mashing process at the spring bank. So meshing has to take place at a temperature of 63 to 65 degrees centigrade, a proportion of 4 units of water per unit of water. So the meshing needs a temperature of 63 to 65 degrees centigrade. Once the meshing turn is filled, the process lasts for about 20 minutes and then the water called what? Now the grist is converted into the wort after a mashing process. So before mashing process, it is grist. When we adding hot water in the mashing process, it is converted into the wort. And the wort is after the mashing process is drained and stored. Now, meshing turn at Adobe. Now you can see some Adobe in the images of meshing turn at Adobe. The meshing process is repeated four times. We are talking about the meshing process. It is repeated at least four times. Now the word obtained in the first two mesh, meshing, the first and the second waters will be used in the next process. The third and fourth waters are kept for the next meshing. The solid waste called draft is usually kept. So, and the meshing process is repeated four times. The word obtained in the first two meshing, first and second waters will be used in the next process. The third and fourth waters are kept for the next measure. The solid waste called draft is used to feed cattle. So the waste part is used for cattle feed. The another part of meshing is consists with 
a liquid obtained after the meshing process called wort as a sweet sweetened taste now it is 400 to 550 liters of wort are obtained for each ton of barley used in the meshing now you can see the wort the making of single malt whiskey now the fermentation is take place so the now what what is going into the fermentation process what cool down to 16 degrees centigrade is taken to some big containers made of wood or stainless steel for wash bags so the fermentation process is done into the wood it should be a oak wood or it should be a stainless steel vessels that's called wash bags to so the slides of images of wash bags process the long large wooden barrels where the fermentation is done each wash bag or each barrels may contain about 20 100 liters of wort so this is all about the fermentation process of single malt whiskey now yeast after this process we can add the yeast when all the wort is in the wash bag yeast is added saccharomyces cervix about 75 kg helps to fermentation of whiskey process during the fermentation process the temperature rise from 60 to 20 degrees centigrade until 34 degrees centigrade higher temperature should be avoidable as they would doing the meal now talking about Small recap about the fermentation. So after the adding the Saccharomyces cerevis, the type of yeast which are helped to fermentation the whiskey, the fermentation take place during at minimum of 80 48 hours. From the timing of fermentation of single malt whiskey is 48 hours. However, the process may be longer. At spring bank, the process. Last for seventy hours. First is consists of an Arabic fun formation. The yeast is used sugar to grow and an anaerobic one. During the process of anaerobic fermentation, CO two heat and alcohol from five to ten percent are generated by the yeast. the liquid produced after the fermentation is called wash now the wort is converted after the fermentation it's called wash so the story is about wash before the fermentation grist after adding the hot water is converting grist and now the alcoholic product for producing single malt whiskey now converted to the wash when the wash is ready to be distilled it is pumped to a container called wash receiver usually placed next to the distills so the pot or patent distill distillation methods are used for producing distillation of single malt whiskey now you can see the wash receiver at spring bank the images available in the powerpoint slides now the making of small batch the distillation is very important the distill are the still distillation are different in each distillery and it is said that three shape is important to give an own character to the whiskey produced in the distillery usually the whiskey are distilled two or three times you can say the single malt whiskey can be twice distilled the twice distilled. to obtain the distillation copper still are used we can say the patent distill method having a copper distillation are used for production of single malt whiskey traditionally they have were heated by neck flame 
usually from the burning of gas or coal. Nowadays, they are usually heated by internal steam coils. The objective of the distillation is to separate water and alcohol. It boils at about 80 degrees centigrade. So this is all about distillation process. So the wash is converted into the final whiskey. Now, in the distillation process, there should be still as plain water. The still where the first distillation takes place is called wash still. Now the wash is converted into the still. So the complete story about to start with the malt, the green malt. The green malt is converted into the grist. When the hot water is added to the grist, it's converted into the wash. And after the wash, there should be a wash still. It is slightly bigger than the rest of skins. The developed alcohol pass through the a part of the still, the sand neck and enters the condenser where alcoholic vapors will turn into liquid. Now the alcoholic vapors are converted into the liquid. That's called a fermentation. That's called a distillation. The liquids remaining at the wash is still called spent less or pot ale are to be transferred into a settled food, kettle food. The produce from the first distillation is called low wines and it has a 20 to 25 percent alcohol. Low wines will go through a second and sometime a third distillation which take place a uh, spread distills. In the second distillation, the still man must retain the middle cut. He has to discard the heads which contain too much high volatility alcohol 80% and the tiles which contain heavy elements that might unbalance the whiskey. The, condens the condensers are connected to a kind of box called spirit safe which allow the still man to control the process. Now you can see the images there is the uh, images is related to the spirit safe at Distilling. The still man retains the middle cut when the alcohol degree of at a given temperature. The still man use thermometers and hydrometers to determine the alcohol purity. Now after this step, part of the heads and the less tiles go back to the low ones, container to be used in the next distillation. The distill liquid New spirit is a taken a big container called spirit receiver. There are some images how a spirit receiver is worked. The new spirit is colorless and has an alcohol degree from 60 to 78 percent, depending on the type of distillation. The average being 70 percent. Now the storing process. Usually the new spirit is reduced to a strength of 63.5 percent using water before being cast. In the storing process, afterward the new spirit is put in the cask. The label Scotch whiskey can only be used when the spirit has been in a cask smaller than 700 liter capacity for at least three years in Scotland. So the maturation period of storing should be three years according to the Scott law. If you're talking about the Irish law, it should be a five years. The making of single malt whiskey, the maturation process is a play a very important role. It is the last point of the single malt whiskey, the maturation. The cask have a key role in the maturation process. Usually, sherry or bourbon cask are used, both of them made of oak. The oak wood is used for the maturation of single malt whiskey. The cask have a capacity of 200 barrels, 250 or 500 liters. They may be used one the several times. The fact of being at first fills or a refill has a big influence of whiskey produced. The make of single malt whiskey maturation, the casks are kept in warehouse, usually next to the distillery. The maturation process tends to range from 10 to 20 years. Every year, 2% of the cask contain it lost through evaporation. 
Sometimes more than one cask is used in the maturation process. Recently, casks from different origins have been used to add other flavors to whiskey. Now, the maturation process, the cask have a key influence on the color, the aroma, and the taste of the whiskey. The environment where the whiskey maturation takes place is also important as the spirit will be influenced by external elements as humidity, heat, climate. Whiskey may be bottled straight from the cask, then will be called single cask whiskey. However, the main brands aim to obtain more standardized products 12, 50 years old months. Bottling. If the bot bottle wishes to obtain a start consistent whiskey, several casks are wetted in a big container. The wetted whiskey is allowed to marry for some time and then is taken back to the cask for six months. The making of single malt whiskey, the bottling, if a whiskey is labeled 12 years old, if the whiskey is labeled 12 years old, single malt is consists whiskey which is 12 years old. So the minimum period of maturing in the 12 years old whiskey. Some whiskey are perfectly well while others may be safe with time becoming too woody. Often water is added to the whiskey to reduce its alcohol degree to the desired percentage, usually 40 to 43 percent. If no water is the added, then the whiskey is called cask strength. Before bottling, the whiskey is checked again to verify its alcohol degree. There are few distillery that have their own bottling plants. Usually whiskey bottling is carried out outside the distillery. And now you can say a final revision of the product and packaging is done at the stage. After this final process, the whiskey is ready to be sold at stores. So this is all about the production method of single malt whiskey. The beginning from malting and end with labeling and the marketing. Now talking about the famous brand of whiskey, they are made from only malted barley, also called malt whiskey. Entire process of distillation is carried out its one distillery. These are all distilled by the pot still methods. The water used in single malt is usually not treated and it is influenced not only by the rock from which is reused but also from the land through it travels to the distillery. So there is a region of Scotland, you can see the map of Scotland. There should be a highland, Islay, Camperdown and the lowland. The Islay are consists with the Rothing, Bomo, lowland is consists with the Scott whiskey, the lowland whiskey. Now talking about some famous brand of single malt whiskey, the Cardu, the Glenfiddich, the Glenmorangie, the Tuskia, the Oban, the Glenmorangie is one of the famous single malt whiskey brand. So at the off end of this video, I hope you understand the single malt whiskey production methods as well as the international brands of single malt whiskey. So at the end of this video, there is some multiple choice question is consists with this video. I hope after watching this video, you can solve these multiple choice questions very effectively. And it is also help to gain your knowledge about single malt whiskey. The question is consists with the question number one is this single malt whiskey is made by the 16 main of paint. The options are Glen Morange, Glen Fidditch. Glen Grant or Cardo. Question number two, which of these whiskey distilleries is not the Islay of Scotland, the Bomo, the Bunches, the Tenaitians? The next question is, what geographical destination does called distillery hold? The most northern distilleries in Scotland, the River Spey, the most southern Distillery in Scotland. Then another option is highly distilled in Scotland. So this is a first phase of multiple choice question. Now another question which are related to the single malt whiskey. Which of these single malt scotch whiskies is not distilled on an Iceland? This could be Scapa, Bromus, Tuskier, or the Tom Mori. The another question is related to the single malt whiskey. Which single malt whiskey is made in the closest distillery in Scotland? 
Now the last question it's about the Glenfels distillery in produce an extremely strong single malt whiskey called 105 cost strength but percentage of alcohol by volume is it 55% 72% 52.5% and the 60% so I hope you like this video and after watching this video you can a good knowledge about the single malt whiskey so uh, at the end of this video thank you so much have a nice day thank you